Hello and welcome to One Tech Mind. My name is Lance Somoza and I am thrilled to officially announce my YouTube tech channel. And I know what you're thinking. It's 2020, Lance, you're a millennial, YouTube, technology, can you be more original? And to that I say, nope, this is pretty much all I've got. But to be real for a second, I'm starting this channel for a few reasons. Number one, I just absolutely, simply flat out love technology. Ever since I was four years old and playing Mickey's Zoo on my dad's old work computer, it's become my life's greatest passion. Second, I love sharing my passion for technology with others. Number three, one of my other greatest passions is learning how to do new things. And I've been looking for a creative outlet this year, as I'm sure many of us have. I've dabbled in video production before. It's always been tons of fun. So the ability to talk about something I love, share that with you, learn something new, that's what really excites me about this endeavor. Because what I love most about technology is that it has the power to elevate and improve our lives and bring us so much joy in doing so. And sometimes that's in seemingly dumb ways like never having to leave the couch to turn the lights on. Thank you, smart lights. And in other ways, it's extremely powerful and impactful, like being able to see and connect with our family members and our loved ones safely during a pandemic. Now, technology, like anything else, is not perfect, but it solves problems big and small, whether it's the creation of the wheel, electric vehicles, spinning vinyl records, or the world's music in your pocket. Technology is frequently at the center of innovation. Now, it can be very positive and it can also be scary sometimes. We live in the information age, a time where knowledge and opinions can be summoned and given at will, and culture ebbs and flows by the minute. And to me, that makes us almost androids. We're these physical beings extended by our technology, and the internet is basically our second brain. Now, that's pretty powerful stuff, and as we all know, with great power comes great regulation, that's right. Especially in the United States where tech companies inch closer and closer to government regulation. Especially the social media companies who run platforms where it's often difficult to discern the absolute truth amidst misinformation. Technological innovation ebbs and flows too. The mainstay technology that we've come to know and love like our phones, tablets, TVs, computers and the like, they have complete feature sets, which is to say we don't expect a whole lot more from them than what they can currently do without massive breakthroughs in the areas of physics, chemistry, and maybe even biology. That's not to say that there's not exciting technology out there because there absolutely is. In fact, in the past few weeks, this fall alone, there's been tons of tech that has come out and the existing technology we have access to will continue to be delivered to us in different forms. What really excites me most is what is next for technology? What's that next big frontier for us? And right now, that's focused on a few key areas, namely virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and wearables too. It's therefore fitting that my first couple of reviews on this channel will include things like the Apple Watch Series 6, which comes in product red for the first time and has a blood oxygen sensor. So you can measure the level of O2 saturation in your blood. And the Oculus Quest 2, the second generation completely standalone VR headset from Facebook with faster chips and near 4K screens. Now you may be saying, Lance, why should I watch you? Well, on this channel, instead of focusing too much on the super technical side of things, I really want to hone in on the user experience. What is it like to really use this new technology to the fullest? And how does that relate to how you use your tech in your daily lives for your own use cases? Does it relate to them? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you don't need the new iPhone that came out, but maybe there's something I can tell you about it that can really, truly help you. Also, I don't wanna waste your time here, which is why I promise to present my genuine thoughts and opinions on technology with context and as succinctly as possible. My plan is to churn out a couple videos per month until I really get into the swing of things and hopefully amp it up from there. Now keep in mind in the past few weeks there's been a ton of awesome tech that's come out that I've got my hands on some of it, some of it's on its way, and so I'll need some time to put it through its paces of course before I get a video out there. My Apple Watch Series 6 review will be the first to drop within the next week and a half or so. I've got the product red one and I'm super happy with it, so I'm excited to tell you all about that. Yesterday, I also picked up this monster, 
the iPhone 12 Pro Max in graphite. It's huge, it's ostentatious, but so far I'm really loving it. I've also got the Oculus Quest 2 and a couple HomePod minis which are on their way to me next week. And I'm really excited about those because I've got a regular HomePod in the kitchen. So I wanna see how they stack up both uh, as standalone speakers and in stereo mode. So keep an eye out for that video coming up. So in the meantime, I hope you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends, and leave me a comment. Let me know if there's something in particular you'd like me to cover, and I'll take a look at it. You can also connect with me on Instagram and Twitter. I am at Syrinx Starman, also at One Tech Mind and at Real One Tech Mind on Instagram. Thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, thanks for listening to my One Tech Mind.